Short little reminder here, we have 2022 Megatons up for pre-order, and of course, we have very few numbers of these two field centers left in general. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can grab these today. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Oh boy, oh boy. Amazing Defenders has touched down in the OCG, and I was, uh, I was curious to see what we'd be working with here. The fire truck is $3 for the secret rare. Wow. Little doggo here is actually five bucks. And then of course the most expensive one actually is the ritual with a $15 price tag. This uh the set is hilariously cheap. You can get the ultra fire truck for two dollars. Alright, like I feel like this entire set is awful in terms of its value, man. Like, the Hydrant is only $3. It actually, is the Hydrant the most expensive super? I think the Hydrant ends up... Yeah, cool, the Hydrant's the most expensive super. Oh, no. <laughs> There's another super here. This thing's $4. Okay. Interesting, the Mekonko stuff... Oh, my gosh, never mind. The Mekonko stuff's expensive. $9? What? $11? Okay, okay. And then we got five fifty, and then fifteen dollars. Okay, I initially didn't think there was any value in here. Well, your super rares are uh, some crazy value, man. I also love the fact like all these parallels exist. Like, look how nice that looks. That's so cheap. Well, uh, this set definitely exceeded my expectations. What's going on down here with the uh, the Dark World structure deck? It's the most expensive card in here. Dollar eighty for uh, my, my dragon. I don't think anything else in here was really too crazy in terms of value for them. You got dollars here, yield skill drain. Ah, uh, yes, wow. Snow and the gates got bought out. My God, these look so cool in secret air. 10 bucks for that, I wish we got secret alternative cards. You could pull the fusions, $8, wow. But poor old uh, regular fusion Graffa is a $2 card. Okay, so in terms of your alternate foilings here, definitely seeing this look very, very, it's crazy to me, man, um, to say the least. I wonder how things are going on their Darkwing Blast. Um, last time we looked at Darkwing, yeah, it's these, these things are always cratered. The Ghost Rares were the whole $8. That is sad, man. <laughs> Prismatic, uh... Blackwing Dragon also is expensive. You can see all the beasted cards cratered off of the market. Yikes. Um, regular Darkwing Dragon is $4. $7 for the Link 4. Um, this is the Ultimate Rare. Yeah, the ulti has gone for $9. This set definitely has some cool potential. I, I, I really do mean that. I do want to see this in Prismatic, though. It's going to look gorgeous, man. Super excited overall for that. All right. Found a Kiza mat on eBay. Did the I, As far as I remember, I thought this was a 2010 win a mat, but I've been seeing these pop up. I don't know if this particular listing, this might have been a European win a mat for 2011. I'm not really sure on the legitimacy of that, but I'm pretty sure it was like 2010. So I don't know how many versions of this or if this is real or not, but definitely caught my attention. Um, $280 for this beautiful piece. Th this one's a little bit more ridiculous in terms of my, uh, my opinion, but alas, you know, people love the OCG arts on these sorts of things. Uh, the shark mat still floating around here. I love the fact that these are so cheap. You know, $87 is not too crazy to unload. I also found this Apo mat here. Um, this thing from California here with a uh, $62 price tag with free shit or with $10 shipping. Definitely, I don't remember, was this real? Found a couple of interesting things today. I'm just like, wait, was, I don't remember this being real. Um, and then we've got, did you know? Okay, so here, here's the interesting thing about this. So this was the Toys R Us um, very, very short-lived promo. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, Toys R Us basically was supposed to do a whole bunch of runs with Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. And Toys R Us got some very, like, expensive cards. Well, this particular token was... They, they did exist, but they they never really got off the ground. It's long since been reprinted, but the original common prints of these are ridiculously hard to find. That's why, like, 
this is one of the the more I guess available ones I've seen. But twelve hundred dollars, man, is ridiculous. Like, ugh, it's very interesting to see. I also saw this. This was cool. This is a Korean Black Rose Dragon. A little bit more expensive for my taste. I'm going to be honest with you. But it was an 8.5 for 320. I figured we'd just show this because I was like, man, oh man, like that Ghost Rare Black Rose is so shiny. So cool to see. All right. Now, can you believe this? Can you believe this, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> Brave Neos got bought out. Why, you ask? Well, it only has one printing. A lot of the hero stuff as of late, for whatever reason, um, it's kind of starting to disappear. And I mean, like, look at this, man. You've seen $7, $7, $7, dollars post taxes here. And the way it looks, yeah, you, you actually rank up even further beyond for this. So... A lot of targeted hero buyouts for whatever reason. I mean, speaking of uh, targeted buyouts, regular, to, to be fair, like, Aqua Dolphin has how many printings at this point? Like, just look at this. You can get a super from the original set here. Power of the Duelist is going to cost you above $2. That's a little bit sad, actually. Um, there's only 11 printings here for Relentless Revenge. For look at this, five dollars, seven dollars, six dollars, and then lowest available after tax is going to cost you over seven dollars at this point. Uh, I'm actually very shocked about that. How much are regular? One fifty for near mint, one thirty. Um, the way it looks here, you can get a German for a hundred. Light play for one oh five right now. One twelve uh, near mint for about one thirty the way it looks and then we continue to escalate up to the 140 mark here so yes you do have plenty of aqua dolphins on the market but they're expensive <laughs> speaking of these um i believe that this version had some of the biggest discrepancies with it being real or not due to upper deck but that's not what we're here for um the ultras just got cratered off the face of the planet once again man look at that uptick uh, and it is level 7. This is one of the cards you can bring off of instant contact here. $38. $45. $48. Hello for an ultra rare, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, so weird. Remoten also got cratered. Somebody bought Remotens a couple days ago for $10 a piece. What a crazy lad, man. These are $11 now. Since this stuff didn't get reprinted, all the original stuff got to hold its value, which means the players are looking at this stuff going, uh-oh, I need more Tronic cards. What do? Crusady Avermax. Um, first dead copies, 31 Somebody paid $40 for one? What? First dead, I see 30 down here, but not verified. 31 Yeah, hey, you're looking at 31 to $32 right now on your copies of Avermax. That's a little bit crazy to me. Uh, Evil Swarm cards. I just wanted to point out, so the Legacy of the Volion Exodon Knights here, that's not what you care about. The Megaton versions got cratered. These are $12 now minimum. <laughs> uh, I guess we, we looked at this version and said, screw it, like, th this is how we're going to pick up the stuff we want. Okay. Mischief of the Gnomes. Huh. Both copies look like... What are we floating like five bucks? Yeah, four to five per copy of this. Hey, it's a good counter to uh, the metagame, that's for sure. Rika cards. Oh boy. So, glamours are $30 at this point. Yikes. Petals are $10. Oof. Oof. Um, that's some real value, I suppose. All right. Matanus Drytrons. I just wanted to pull these up. These these did the spiral back down. If you've been wanting Drytron cards, you're at $42 right now, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like, I would definitely say that this is a lot more affordable now. And then Droplets. Oh my gosh, the the staple of staples. And then they're, they're spinning down $270 for those. It's not bad. I see somebody bought four today. And then we spin down here what is this like 66 okay and then original or excuse me the reprints 
from Duels to the Deep are now 55. Well, yeah, these did rank up. Okay, well, that's your market today, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if comment down below, tell me what you guys say. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.